same as my new project. <laughs> so uh, I created a model of a cat wearing a tuxedo. And uh, somewhere else I textured it. This guy's untextured, so you're stuck with a gray, gray cat that can get spooky that. eyeballs. Uh, so the point of the point of my little presentation is that um, if you're interested in animation and you're interested in motion capture, you know what motion capture is, right? So, you know, High-end motion capture is going to have an actor with a lot of little dots all over, and they're going to be oh, acting yeah. for a camera, and that can be converted into use used with an, a, a 3D model. But um, there are a lot of uh, motion capture files that you can get off the internet for free, which are people have done walk cycles and they've done all kinds of stuff that's out there that you can just go get these. Uh, they're one, uh, the most common, I think, standard format is BBH files. So I went out and I found a BBH file of a guy who recorded himself doing a karate move and I hooked it up to my cat. This can be short, we're almost done. And this is what my Paintings a little off in spots, so don't. You know, I was just learning Blender and I was just messing around with it. It was pretty easy to do this. I, I, I'm sure I could reproduce it pretty easily if I wanted to, but it wasn't that hard to do. And about uh, weight, weight painting the model, getting getting the getting the bones in. It's a pretty simple skeleton. I guess one other thing to mention is that uh, there are also lots of models that you can get uh, off. You know, Stanford is one place that has a lot of. They've done a lot of um, 3D imaging to create models. This is a this is a famous one. It's the Stanford um, armadillo, and I I hooked up the uh, karate kick to this guy too. Didn't come out uh, quite as smooth. I didn't spend as much time on it. But yeah, weight painting issues here for sure, <laughs> but it's still kind of fun. So here's here's the Stanford Armadillo doing the same. Well, right. motion capture. Uh, can't really All right, that's it. Cool. How do you uh, import the files? Uh, I think this was a. Uh, oh, it's one of the standard ones. I think it was a. Uh, Name some Colada maybe. Oh. Um, not sure. So um, I do download a uh, Colada file and it has the skeleton with the animation on it already. I think I had to. I think I had to put. A, I think I had to put bones on. I can't remember, but I think. I don't think. I'm sure there are models that are have, that have rig, have skeletons, but. You have the skeleton on this guy. Let's see. How do I even look at that anymore? Can you? Hit, hit Z There's any other, any other? You can press the solar key to untie them. You can show all the layers. And then all H to untie everything. So I hit tilde and then. That shows all the layers and then all H. H to untie everything. There we go. Okay. So how can I hide the undoes? When you import it, is it just. Uh, just like namespaces, like you have to have the unpin something, or do you, you have to hook it up to like MPs or something? You know, I think, God, like I said, can't, this is actually illegal for you to ask me this. Oh. <laughs> I think I had a simple skeleton, really simplified and that matched up. Yeah, you had to have namespaces that, yeah, you import the, B, the BVH and then you just. I think there's kind of an automatic process. It was it was easy. Maybe if, if there's interest in it, I'm, I'm continuing with this. I'll come and do a real presentation about some. I just wanted a T-shirt. <laughs> well, as long as they weren't just a T-shirt. But the, the point is that it's actually pretty easy to do, and you can get some kind of cool effects. I, I was pretty happy with my cat doing a little karate move. And everything. You can I like the cat. 